Have you ever wondered why magnets are attracted to certain metals like your fridge, but not others? At the atomic level, all matter is made of dense, positively charged nuclei surrounded by clouds of negatively charged electrons. We often model these electron clouds as distinct paths that electrons orbit through, although that's just a visualization convention. Electrons have a property called spin, and each one has its own associated tiny magnetic field. In most atoms, electrons fill up orbitals in pairs with opposite spins that cancel each other out, with the tiny magnetic field also largely cancelling it too. But in certain metals like iron, nickel, and cobalt, there are unpaired electrons and a crystal structure of the material that allows many spins to align in the same direction. With so many spins in the same direction, this creates a strong magnetic effect, making them good magnets. In non-magnetic metals, like copper or aluminum, spins can't align this way. So next time you bring home a piece of art to hang on your fridge, you can think about all the tiny interactions that work together to make it possible.